Hello, Cobras, and welcome to the finale of to Let's Play Pokemon Lead Green. I'm Chocolate Tamer. I'm just showing all of my team's uh, levels and stuff right now. The only difference, really, other than the fact that they're all level 70, definitely not because I exploited the rare candy glitch in Pokemon Emerald, at least the item clone glitch. And the only other difference is that Orphona and now knows the move double edge since it doesn't really need a uh, false swipe anymore. So now we are rematching Loralee. What I'm doing right here is using a bunch of bulk up so I can basically sweep through the team again like I did in the first time we came through here. I actually did have another failed take on the Jinx again because I kept using Lovely Kiss and everything. It's been annoying, and now a new team member for Loralee is Pyloswine, the evolution to Swine Up, which I caught in the Ice Wall Cave. It could pose a little bit of a threat if it, what, if it could have been a Mammal Swine, but that was introduced in Generation 4. And the Cloister gave me a little bit of trouble in the, in the failed attempt, but I swept through it with one hit because of an extra bulk up or two that I did, and it was pretty close, and I took out the Jinx with a nice hefty Earthquake. And Lapras, of course, will go down with a punch of Brick Break. I don't even know if that was supposed to be a pun. Or I guess it would be a punch. And now we are battling Bruno. We're just, uh, I only cut out a little bit of things like the healing and um, the fact that, well, I keep in like the fact that they say something a little bit different every time. You go up to an Elite Four member and stuff. Yeah, they have new something. I have something new to say, that's what I'm trying to get at. And Bruno, his two Onyx have evolved into Steelix, and I believe that's the only difference to his team. Of course, that is both higher level as well. Well, there was no difference. I'm sweeping through them with Orphona again, pretty much like I did last time. Launch him. Uh, survived with 1 HP like I had a few moments of during the LP. Eh, uh, rhyming. It's kind of fun. We'll take a drink of water. <laughs> probably heard me slurping that. Well, you probably did, but... There goes Mod Champ. <laughs> Getting a lot of ESP and Orphona. It's probably, probably became my most level Pokemon since it's so good at sweeping with Bone Ring and Thick Club. It's so overpowered. And I believe, well, I don't know. Another Pokemon might, might have leveled up, but I'm... So not really know since I like to go all over my team. And now we're going to Agatha, who probably gave me the most Agatha aggravation, I guess. So much punnerism. Trying to scoop down here. I'm kinda spoiled by my blanket, because the past couple days I've been like uh like wearing my blanket around me as much as possible. Since I've been cooped up in my room like a Every time I'm at home, I've been having from school and stuff. Of course. A uh, concert for chorus is coming up at school. It'll be fun, I guess. Well, yeah, concerts are always fun since, you know. I enjoy singing. And of course, I'm, since Mr. Pandaria World of Warcraft is out, Tyler's gonna be busy playing that for a little while. We actually have some plans, but. I'm gonna respect his love for the pandas and allow him to level up a couple characters to 90, and then we can do the things we plan. And the music change is awesome. Mistrivis can, yeah, kinda gave me trouble because uh, I was nervous about. Actually, no, Manly Gaga was asleep. I actually didn't really pay attention to how it went, but. And then Buddy took it out with the super. Charge surf and a couple surfs to take out her Arbok. The intimidate doesn't do anything. Went down to just enough so that the second surf took it. It's like I'm commentating Wi Fi battle of the bad way. Uh, at least I talked about some life stories. And too bad that was a critical hit. And if it wasn't critical hit, critical hit, critical strike on the topic of World of Warcraft, but, um, if the Thunderbolt wasn't critted, probably would have survived and charged up the surf a little bit more and probably would have taken it out, but 
Mainly Gaga's here to shut up all things up, and of course the leftovers are annoying because they take like 6 seconds to pass through them, and then when I use a potion on Mainly Gaga it takes so much time since it has so much HP! I was somewhat predicting that uh, I'd get paralyzed, but I didn't, so I wouldn't have had to use a full restore and I got taken out by a psychic anyway. At least that Gengar's like not near as annoying, so to speak. And, wow, I just realized that that music didn't really last for long compared to these other songs. But, oh yeah, her. Golbat Bald and Crowbat's because, you know, Jota Pokemon and stuff. Nice, you know, Pokedex. And now we're going to Lance. Probably the most, uh, epic of the battles, in my opinion. Like, the champion battle is pretty good, but. I've had some pretty good moments in this battle right here, like, it's just, it's just, it's just so even, yeah. Plus stutter, I mean, it's awesome. Hyper Beam plays a big part, does a lot of damage, but of course, yeah, it's gonna have to wait a turn, just recharge, and give Sorphona a few good chances, and then my other Pokemon that I'll be using, Kingdra, kinda gave me a little bit of a, a little bit of a tango here. Well, I just did two videos today, I believe, yeah, two videos, episode 9 of Superstar Saga, and episode 34 of this, where I went on that big ramble, and right here, look, it was defrosted, like, Pokemon barely get, like, rarely get frozen, and it defrosted immediately, anyway, kind of a little funny, and I took advantage of Orphona's bulkiness by using bulk up a few times, and also taking advantage of the amount of uh, Dragon Dance. I was wiping a little bit of spit off my screen since like, I'm like a foot away from my laptop screen. Looking at the video playing and stuff. And here's Dragonite, of course, with his flamethrower. Like, okay, this, here's what it went to. Okay, I brought it to Red Health, he has full restore, I wanted I uh, used strength again, get it back to where it was. Then I decided to go for strength again since I thought the quick claw would activate, but nope. So it was, yeah, that's part of the thing of how this battle became to be even IMO. Now for Dragonite number two. I believe he replaced Dragonair, and he still has two Dragonites. And he replaced it for the Kingdra. Yeah, I was trying to work out things in my head. And Barely survived that. Rock slide. Critical hit. But, this up and final is this Aerodactyl, which, even though it was pretty much uh, taken down pushoverishly with Thorfona last time, it took it down because it was low on HP, and I had to rely on Ouija to use a few Giga Drains, weakened down, and gotten back with HP by Aerial Aces, but it survived with 1 HP, took it out, so that, that's just awesome. And now, to get headed for the champion battle. It's epic music. And even more speedy, because I wanted to match it up better with the music and make it more epic stuff. Okay, finally get to see Heracross here, but not for long, because it's Quad Week 2 Flying. Of course, it's one of those new Pokemon, and I kinda got cheated out of Alkazam here, I think, to my memory, since I was trying to, uh, use a bulk up, followed by an Earthquake and maybe sweep a couple team members, but it was taken out by a couple seconds. So I made up for that by a critical hit with, uh, Boomerang, and I tried to play Venusaur a little bit more safely, I guess, with, uh, Protect, and then Solar Bean for Spatro, and pretty much finished it off with Spatro. Venusaur can't really do jack poop to Batro, especially with Fly Fusion. Fly Fusion's awesome! And Sludge Bomb doesn't do anything, the Sludge Sparrow is actually kind of a good thing since that their range it probably would have used a full restore and just out. And here's another new Pokemon that I mentioned before, Tyranitar. I uh, remember that you can catch a uh, Larvitar over at, around the Savault Canyon. Made note of that, and it evolves into Tyranitar eventually at level 55 as a pseudo legendary. 
an actual non-dragon tier to legendary. And we're coming up on this final two Pokemon, I believe. <sighs> At least in Pokemon, like surfacely. Okay, it's not again. It's been kind of the same as Lance Gyarados using the Hyper Beam, need to your charge, and then taking about, taking about, yeah, about by a uh, rock slide and Arcanine. It's being finished up here. Don't see if I could like put Ouija to a little bit of use, but it was just there as a decoy to suck up the special attack. And Melee Gog was just there to uh, almost Melee Gog there for. Oh yeah, suck up another. Now it's a special attack and maybe paralyze it because I wanted to give the biggest surf attack ever for Buddy, just like I did last time, I'm pretty sure. Or was it Orphona? Because I remember taking out uh, Lane's Arcanine with. I, I know that Buddy was part of the original champion battle. I can't really get my thoughts straight, but. Another surf attack will do it in. But of course, he uses the Store, but. I use the bite attack. Yes, he uses the bite attack. He uses extreme speed on me. And awesome surf attack of awesomeness. And now that we have defended our title as the champion, we are now going to become the lead champion again. And I will see you with a little ending thing I made for you guys. Well, it's been a long road, but I think I'll treat myself to some battle toads. Yeah, I do have some bragging rights. Wait, bragging rights? That's it! Okay, so only bragging rights dig Pokemon eggs, I guess that's cool. Well, I bragged to someone, that's cool. Now to pursue my dream as a sailor. Let's do this. America!